for when you stop looking. All of your exes were lessons in. We'll talk about them again. You keep on settling. Wonder if love is a pain or the medicine. You never let it in. Well, I guess that you're right. Vegas been never my type. And I didn't build up this wall overnight. See, I wanted more than just lust for the night. Then you came in. Hey, good morning, everybody. Or good evening. Depends on when this video goes up. It is a Tuesday morning. I think it's around 6 a.m. I think it just hit 6 a.m. 54.6 degree water temps and you guys it's may i think it's may 13th or 14th 55 degrees yet here in illinois guys i am telling you it is so cold this is in 6.8 feet of water too where i'm reading that and i'm on the north side of the lake this water is the hottest that it should be anywhere and i'm reading 54.8 that's some cold water guys try over on this rock structure here i'm gonna throw a tokyo rig with a kitek tied on and kind of bottom hopping on those rocks and see what happens but i'm excited for today guys stay tuned and let's see what happens So far, no luck. I kind of targeted the shady side this morning. I just kind of realized the sun's kind of peeking over and this is kind of shady. So I'm going to run over just a little bit across the way, check the water temperature and see if it's a little warmer over there. Since the sun's beating over there, I'm going to hit those rocks and bank over there. See what happens over on that side. Curious to see if it's a little bit warmer or not over there. I'm not sure. Again, I'm in a no-wake zone, so I can't just fly over there. Nice one. I'm just going to get a quick wake for you guys. That might be a three pounder. That's a nice fish. Really nice. We'll take him to start for sure. Oh, 299. 299 on the connect scale there, guys. <laughs> there we go. Get him with the yaw. Yeah. <laughs> nice little fish, man. Good and healthy. Go ahead and get her back. Nice catch. I'll show you guys the bait I'm throwing right here. I've been doing good on this bait too. And then uh, I got a Carl's box in the mail. And I put those trapper tackle hooks on there. Those are size two. Um, they haven't got tangled yet. They can if I make a bad cast or something. But it runs really good with those size twos on there. And that's my first hookup. Let's see if we get some more. Good three pounder to start today. I'll take that. I wonder if it's the same fish that hit, like that I felt a bite. I wonder if it's the same one. Because a few casts later, I got him to bite again. There's one. Man, I love crankbait. It's such a fun way to fish. Fatty. 
trapper tackle hook stuck him. I mean, he's barely hooked, but that hook got him, man. Nice. I got some of these hooks, uh, like wide gap hooks. I really like them a lot. And I knew they came out with the with the uh, treble hook version. Get this guy back in the water. I knew they came out with the treble hook version. I just never got my hands on them yet, and I finally did. So maybe this view, re, our video could be a review on these trapper tackle hooks. So far, two fish caught. The one kind of hooked them on the outside of the mouth, but it kept them stuck. And that guy was just barely hooked, but the hook stuck him good. He wasn't going anywhere. It's got that weird bend in the hook, so when it catches him, it's really hard for him to get it off. Very interesting hook. I like the design. I'm just curious to see how the treble hooks work. We'll see if this increases hookup ratios. Third one. Feels like a good one. He's fighting hard. Oh yeah, nice one. Real nice one. Oh yeah. Let's go guys. Oh my god. What a fish right there. Look at this fish guys. Trapper tackle man. Stuck him. Got him with one little hook. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the bottom hook of that treble stuck under his lip there and kept him pinned, dude. Wow. Oh my god, this is a nice one, too. I'm liking these hooks already. Three point nine six, almost a four. Let me get one more weight on her. Three nine six again, guys. Almost a four pounder. You guys see that right there? Three nine six. I'm not sure if this is a call for G Money Strong, but if it is, there we go. There's a three nine six for the G Money Strong tournament. Beautiful catch. Man, what a giant, guys. Absolute giant gonna get her back in the water here wow fish pop it off like a stick or a brush little guy Ooh. Guys, I'm loving these hooks already. <laughs> I know it's pretty early to say, but wow. These hooks are killing it, man. There we go. Little pound fish. Oh. I got stuck on like a either weed, brush, or something. I popped it off. Gave it a little pop. And that fish, just, I didn't even know the fish was really on. It just felt like I was on another branch until it felt them tugging. Our weather here in Illinois is starting to look up too. Today's supposed to be like a high 66, I think. And then it looks like for the rest of the week we get to hit 70 degrees. I'm so excited right now. <laughs> Finally some warm weather. I don't know if you guys can see this in front of me here, but there's like a little rock. It's like part of the uh, bank. See if you guys can see it right there. And it kind of just sticks out and it creates that little current break that you know you gotta go around it. A lot of times fish like to hang out in these kind of areas. Well, if I didn't get stuck on the first cast over that little spot I'm talking about. 
And let me tell you guys, this little lure retriever here is like my best friend. It saves you so much money when something gets stuck. I forget the brand, but it was like $5.99, I think. I'll leave a link below. But that little guy right there saves me so many lures. It's crazy. There's one. Yep. Yep, I knew it. Those spots, man. Guys, I'm telling you, those spots are key. Really key. I mean, he's not huge. But he's right where he should be. And same with those trapper tackle hooks. Right where they should be. <laughs> Just hooking them solid with these hooks. Alright, little fish right there. But right off the spot I'm talking about. See if there's some more. Another solid one. Good looking fish. These hooks right here, guys, are sticking them solid. Right there, trapper tackle. And this is a six sense flat sided square bill in like chartreuse blue. It's got a like one knocker sound to it. Nice, healthy fish. This little spot, guys, right here. Smoked it too. I mean, he he hit it. Bam! Crushed it. Dude, guys, I love these hooks. These are some killer hooks. If you guys haven't tried the trapper tackle hooks, definitely give them a try. <clears throat> Excuse me. I mean, this is my first day using them, but so far they have definitely impressed me. That's for sure. Wow, crazy good, crazy good. Fish, same spot guys. <clears throat> Again with crankbaits, you don't want to force these fish. You just want to fight them out so they don't rip those hooks out. Better one. It's a nice one. Oh, he did not like the net. Alright, bud. Trapper tackle just ain't going nowhere when you get hooked with these suckers. Right in the corner of the mouth, man. He wasn't going nowhere. Look at that fish. You guys want to get a weight on him? Kind of see what he weighs real quick. Probably around two pounds. Good, fat, healthy fish. <coughs> Connect scale two as always. Two and a half pounder. 
2.52. Beautiful fish. Look how fat he is. Nice fish. See you later, bud. Time check for you guys. It is 7.46 a.m. I may have been on the water for about... I think I got out here at like 6.15. So, look, hour and a half or so I've been fishing so far has been excellent. First couple spots I hit first thing in the morning um, were not good. I only had like one little bite, I do believe. There's a working boat here, so sorry for the noise. <clears throat> but the first spot I hit was kind of on the shady side. You know, the sun didn't hit the uh, rocks or the water yet. And that just made me think, you know, shoot right over here. The sun was hitting the water and the rocks. And sure enough, I switched over to this bank right here to my left and it was just it was fire so we're gonna go ahead and shoot up a little bit more and i'll get back to you guys this working boat right here that's where all the noise is they're getting like debris and stuff out of the water so let me talk to you guys when we get up here so you guys can hear me a little bit better all right guys we're cruising up cruising up to this side right here um, we're sitting in 21 feet right now off off the bank you know we're off quite a ways but it's 56.3 right here there's actually lots of arches right here some good suspending fish Fifty six point one, fifty six point three. All right, let's give it a go. Trapper tackle hooks really stick them good. No joke. Probably one of the best treble hooks I've used by far. Right here. Look at that. Nice little smallmouth. 10 pounder. Joking. Just a pounder. <laughs> this is a super cheap setup that I'm using. You don't need nothing expensive. If you guys are on like a budget, um, I definitely definitely recommend this rod. This is the Berkeley Lightning Shock rod. You can get it at Walmart for like 39 bucks. Really good for braid, really good for crankbaits. It's a good frogging rod. I really like it for crankbaits though, one of my favorites. Like for on a budget, if you uh, you can't spend a lot of money, Berkeley Lightning Shock rod, super good. And I'm using a uh, Lose Xfinity Speed Spool that I picked up at Walmart also for like 60 bucks. So very inexpensive setup. And I actually had a rod or two of mine broke. Um, two of my Powell endurances, which kind of sucked. So I actually went to Walmart the day after and picked up two more of these Berkeley Lightning Shock rods. As soon as I hit the water, little fish. I'm going to ski him in. Little, little, little. Six inch bass. Sorry bud. You were going to have a really good meal. You would have been full for the rest of the day, dude. <laughs> Man.
nice one, guys. Second biggest one of the day. Oh. Hooks. Hooking them. Boom. <laughs> yes. Big fatty, man. What do you guys think? Four? Uh, so hard to say. Drop a comment below right now. What's the weight on this big girl? Three, five, three. Three and a half pounder. Three, five, three again. Oh, she looks so fat and big. Three, five, three on the connect scale too right there. Again, trying to get these fish for G-Money strong. I don't think he's going to be a coal, but if he is, there we go. I totally forget how much weight I have. Nice looking fish though, man. Big fatty. Big fat. Large mouth. Maybe a two pounder right there. Good fish. Alrighty, guys, a little update. It is, what time is it? 9.03. So I've been out here probably about three hours. Fishing has been great. I really haven't gone too far. The marina is way over there around the bend, you know. First thing I worked was some rock structure offshore about 13 foot i worked this bank right here but then it was i noticed you know it's shady or whatever i noticed over here you know the sun was beating on the bank so i shot right over there and bam started catching fish like crazy i've worked up and down this pretty far all the way up pretty far to those orange buoys way out there and work my way back down here now we're gonna go try some other areas try something else I'm gonna be using the crack and craw and the bandito bug around docks. I just put the bandito bug on. Um, I was catching them on the craw, so I'm curious to see if they'll hit the bandito bug by Guggen Baits. And of course, I'm gonna be keep crushing them with that square bell, keep throwing it. So, um, yeah, we're just gonna run around, kind of scout out, see where I want to fish next, see what looks good. I'll get back to you guys. Let's get the ride going. Yeah. So you'll find what you're looking for when you stop looking All of your exes with lessons in We'll talk about them again You keep on settling Wonder if love is a pain or the medicine You never let it in Well, I guess it's your right But figures been never my type And I didn't build up this wall overnight See, I wanted more than just lust for the night Then you came in my life You, you, you're different than them I'm used to them playing pretend I'm used to your only your friend Felt deep in each letter you send I'm questioning love and again I'm questioning when it will end Guys, small mouth Oh yeah, did you guys see that? Bait flew off, man. The bait popped off and I got him. Oh, it's a nice one too. First fish off this spot. <laughs> Look at that beauty, guys. Oh, what a fish right there. That's a nice one, man. 260 again. Not quite a three pounder, just over two and a half right there. Beautiful smallmouth. Connect scale two, as always. Beautiful fish. Get her back. See a big girl. Another little smallmouth. Excited. A little smally. Back here in this cove. There's one. Oh yeah. Another small mouth. This end of the lake is holding the smallies. Made a shot over here. All smallmouth so far.
There we go, a little pounder. Way back here in the channel. All right, guys. I am gonna be calling it for today. It is 11 o'clock, 11 a.m. Uh, the bite died down around like nine, I'd say maybe 9.30. 9.30, the bite kind of stopped and it's been slow ever since then. Um, my kids have a dentist appointment today, so I gotta be back home by 12. So we're gonna go ahead and get off the water, grab some lunch and then do the dentist appointment and some errands and all that fun stuff. And then who knows, maybe I'll come back out later We'll kind of see how it goes. But the morning bite definitely was fire. Um, the morning bite, was, that's where it was at today. So mostly on that square bill, I caught some on the crack and craw, but I pretty much just threw that flat sided square bill the whole day. And then I just lost it, you know, 10 minutes ago. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Matt and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Bottles, poppin' bottles! Hey.